Okay, in the last tutorial we got um, our DLL, our GDAL DLL, all linked up to our C++ document here. So now what we're going to do is we're actually going to learn how to read in data sets and how to create data sets. So the first thing we need to do is to have the file name of a data set we want to read in. And these are going to be const char, we'll call this our input data set. Um, and mine is this data set old.tiff. Okay, and set this up now, output this directory where I put stuff I don't need to keep. And so I'll make the new one. Okay. So there we have our file path set up. Now the first thing we need to do is call gda. Oh, we got to have some includes here. So we're going to include gdal.h and include gdal priv.h. Okay. So now we need to call gdal all register. So gdal uses drivers in order to format all these data sets and this registers all the drivers. So the next thing we want to do is set up our GDAL data sets. Um, so this will be our old data set called old DS. Now we're going to have a new data set. Okay. Um, so we have those data sets set up. And now we need a driver. And this driver is going to represent the output file format. So here I have a TIFF, and so I'm going to want to retrieve the, the TIFF driver. I'm going to call this pdriver TIFF. Um, and we're going to set this equal to GDAL get driver sorry get gdal driver manager get driver by name and it's gtiff or geotiff so that's the driver we want now we have our driver all set up we have our data set set up and we only use this driver to write data sets, which we'll do later. To open a data set, we're going to take our old data set, which is p old ds, and it equals a gdal data set, a pointer to a gdal data set, which we get through gdal open. Now all we need to do is give it our file name, input, and then an access, which is an enumerated type. We want read only. We're just going to read this data set. Okay. So now our data set's open. Let's assume we already have an open data set and we want to copy it so we can make changes to it. So we've got p new ds. And this is where our driver is going to come into play. So we want to do p driver, our tiff driver. We want to do create copy. And we're going to give it the output file name. We're going to give it the data set to copy, which is p old ds. And then we don't need. any of these following parameters. Those, we won't get into those right now, uh, but they have other options for creating 
uh, files such as compression and color scheme and all these other things. So if we run this, we should be able to see uh, these two different data sets. So let's build. Make sure we don't have any errors, first of all. Built just fine. And we'll run it. I don't have any messages up here, but it looks like it's run correctly. Um, hold on just a second. I'm going to open a program so we can um, view it. Okay, I have Esri's arc map here where we can view these two layers we've created. So here's the first one, old.tiff. If we turn it off, we have new.tiff, and it's exactly the same. See there? Okay, let's go back into our code. Uh, there is something I forgot to do. So what we need to do is we need to close these data sets after they've been open. With g.close, p old ds, and g.close, p new ds. Okay, so that's correct now. And what I'll do here is I'll throw a q to bug in um, just so we can uh, see what's going on here. And then one down at the end. Okay. So there's one way to, to copy that data set. Um, another thing we can do is if we want to just create a data set and we don't have one to copy is we can use our driver we, want to do, we need to make a new data set we can use our driver to just create one and so we're going to give it the file name and we need to give it an x size which let's give this an x size we'll say it's 300 and a Y size of 300. So the X size is the number of columns, the Y size is the number of rows, one band, and then a type. So we'll give it a float 32, and then these are the options for creating, which you can leave in all. Okay. So now let's run this bit of code, make sure it builds correctly. And I actually need to remove these two data sets because if they're open, it will cause problems. So that built correctly. And let's run it. Okay, and we get a, an error because um, this data set, we never opened this data set. So let's try to run that again and see if we get the same error. There we go. No error that time. So let's open this new one up in ArcMap and see what we get. New. Add that. And there you go. We didn't put any data into it, um, but if we open up the properties here, we can see it has 300 rows and 300 columns, um, but we didn't set anything else up. And so there is how you can uh, create and copy and open data sets with GDAO. Um, next time, we will learn how to read and write to those data sets.